Hello and welcome to another Kyle Connor YouTube channel video. You join me for a pretty special one. So it's no secret I'm a BMW enthusiast. I've loved them over the years. And um, you know, we're here at the Amelia Island Concourse d'Elegance and we've been able to have access to some incredible cars, including this one. This one has quite the story. I'm excited to share it with you. This essentially is a 2000 or 2001 BMW Z3. The reason I say it's either is because this is actually the pre-production prototype of the LCI. So when the Z3 went through its, BMW calls it the life cycle impulse, the refresh, this was the car that was on display for it. And the color itself is Boston green over uh, this really nice tan interior. I'm gonna take you on a full tour of the car. I have some of the specs here. And uh, this is actually from BMW. This is uh, part of BMW USA's classic collection in Spartanburg in South Carolina. Uh, they're letting some journalists have some fun with it, including me. I can't thank them enough for letting me take it out. Of course, we're going to take it for a drive, cruise around Florida uh, in it. We're here at uh, Amelia Island. But um, let me tell you a little bit about the Z3, about this particular one being so special. It only has about 1,500 miles on the clock. So it's essentially going back in time and experiencing a almost 23-year-old BMW as it was intended brand new. So all the switch gear, the knobs, you know, just insane how well kept this has been. So let's get into it. We'll take it for a drive. The Z3 pre-production unit of the refresh from about 2000 or 2001. So the original Z3 uh, launched in 1995, which is the year I was born. <laughs> so gave away my edge there. Yes, I'm young. And, um, now, this one being a 2000, 2001, it received some updates, of course. So to walk you through some of them, uh, powertrain under the hood. Let's actually open up the hood and start there. So the original, uh, I, I would say, big engine or big option engine BMW was the M52. It was a 2.8 liter inline six cylinder engine, and it produced somewhere around uh, 190, 180 horsepower. Now the big question is how the heck, I don't want to damage the car, but I'm feeling the latch somewhere right there. Look at that. So the original engine that this was launched with was the M52. This being the life cycle impulse, the refresh is the M54. It's a three liter engine. And this one of course has just been maintained and kept perfectly from BMW Group Classic. And, um, it's just amazing that you have this little tiny roadster. It feels like about the size of a Miata with this giant three liter inline six cylinder engine in there, which is just crazy. Now, what's funny is they call this Oxford Green 2 metallic, if you look here. However, in the BMW press photo, this is also uh, coming out here. In the BMW little press photo, it actually shows as um, Boston green. So perhaps there was a color change or not totally 100% sure what was going on there. Again, this car was never series production, this particular one. This one was used as the LCI prototype, I believe for our market here in the US because it's a miles per hour speedo and uh, one that they could never sell, of course. So this is one they decided to keep and hold on to. It has the style 78 wheels on it, which look great. And I believe that was an LCI option only, 17 inch here. And they got it on Pilot Super Sports. That was not the factory tire at the time, I don't believe. <laughs> that tire did not exist back in 2000. So going from the 2.8 to the three liter was great. They also changed the shape of the taillights. The whole car got a little bit wider in the back, about a 60 or 70 millimeter wide, uh, wider rear track, which meant you get these really nice sort of wide haunches on the LCI model. And to be totally honest, I've never been like a huge Z3 guy. I've always been, you know, I, I like the Z4 after. I like the, the clown shoe stuff. I'm into that, but this is not the, I was, you know, three series, E39, five series from this generation, E38, seven series. That's like my thing, but I've never really spent time in the Z3s and to experience this one as it was intended when new is a really cool experience. Um, what else should I tell you about it? Mileage, about 16 or 1700 miles on the clock. BMW just tossed, it the, tossed us the keys and said, go have fun with it for a few hours. And I thought, well, let's make a video and take you along for the experience with us. It's amazing how just 
clean it is, how great the paint quality is, the leather quality. This is what really gets me about this car. Experiencing this car, feeling the buttons, the switch gear, the actual leather of the steering wheel, of the seats. When else, when else will you be able to ever experience this era of BMW switch gear buttons and knobs like anything else. They also brought some other incredible cars. Perhaps I'll have videos coming on them. They have a literally one of the first BMW X5s, the E53 generation ever sold in America. Uh, it was a Neiman Marcus edition. I think there was 50 of them, 53, something like that. I think they have number one that's here that's available for <laughs> us to drive. I don't know if we'll make a video with it or not, but it's crazy. They also have an X5 4.6 IS in red on red, which is pretty crazy. Um, they have a Z3 clown shoe, Z3M, Z4M, excuse me, they have as well. Crazy, the kind of stuff that BMW brought over here to Amelia Island, and they're just like, go drive it. So let's do exactly that. Let's jump in the Z3, and um, a little bit behind the scenes, this is my personal channel, we're actually trying out some new GoPros today. And Anna, where'd you put them? Right here. Oh yeah, can you show everyone? These are the DJI Action 3s. We got two here. We got two of them. And um, I really hate GoPros with a passion, no secret. So I'm really excited to see how A, the quality is on this. I think we'll actually plug our mics into one of the cameras and use the audio from the other. So we're sort of protected there. But uh, let's camera up the Z3 and drive it uh, really for the first time as it was intended to be brand new. What an experience. Well, you join us inside of the Z3 Roadster now. Anna, welcome to the video. Hello. Thank you for filming the intro. Yep. Um, are you, you're not a BMW lover? I'm not the biggest BMW fan girl, no. But does the Z3 sway you? It does. No, I can appreciate the older BMWs. Yeah, this generation of BMW, by far my favorite. Um, so let's talk about uh, what we have here. We have a um, weight of under 3,000 pounds in a drop top convertible. It's got a fully steel <laughs> unibody, of course. Uh, rack and pinion, manual power steering. They built almost 300,000 Z3s throughout the total production. 297,088 was the full production run from 95 to 02. Um, we have the Getrag 250 five speed manual. McPherson strut front with coil springs and twin tube gas pressure, pressure shocks. Uh, rear suspension is semi-trailing arm with a progressive rate coil spring. Um, same with the shocks, it's four wheel discs with ABS. 245 40 R17s, Michelin Pilot Super Sports on this one. And um, right, this one they claim is a 2001 three liter is a pre-production unit finished in Boston green. Optional equipment in this one is the chrome line interior trim. So I believe that's the chrome around the gauges and maybe the door handles and yep, around here as well. And let's see, it's got the HK audio. So Harman Kardon has the sport pack with sport seats, an M sport steering wheel and the style 78 light alloy wheels. Um, it's really not that long, 159 inches long. Uh, 68 and a half inches wide and of course only 50 inches tall so very small car feels tiny it really does yeah um, the key old school BMW key it has the push for the BMW lock I think it's actually out of battery uh, and it's car number two so I don't know what that's necessarily for so we'll go key in the slot make sure we're in neutral accessory mode on not a missing pixel anywhere, 1,725 miles on the clock. Wow. Just for this event, they've put 459 on it already. So that's really brave of them to pull these cars is, out. Yeah. Um, there was another Z3 or maybe it was a Z4. Our friend Jared Rosenholtz was driving it. He put its thousandth mile on. Oh, I don't know. Wow. BMW was just like, yeah, let's just take out old cars for fun. It makes me nervous. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Started right up. That M54 engine. Sounds great. The leather on the handbrake feels brand new. I mean, never could you have imagined what this stuff feels like, at least for me, because when I when this car launched, I, it was the same year I was born, was when this car was, was launched into series production. Of course, I don't remember what it felt like back then, <laughs> but I'm sure I had seen some at auto shows because I've been going to those my whole life. The clutch pickup is brand new. I mean, we pulled it out on, we were in this sticky, muddy grass for the concourse. Yep. This was on display. And um, I mean, we were just inching it along and the clutch feels great. Everything feels super strong. Engine temps are perfect. 
but let's go for a little drive. I mean, it drives like it would have when it was brand new. So this was really the, the fast, sporty BMW Roadster in the time frame, at least that you could go for. And I'm noticing the camera shake a little bit here, but I don't actually think there's anything we can do about that, to be honest. I think it's just uh, GoPro. nature of the beast. GoPro mounts with DJI Action 3 camera. So really curious how the quality looks here. But let's go for a little drive. We're gonna wind it out, have some fun. Of course, we wanna be respectful that this is literally the nicest one probably in the world left. Driving it feels buttery smooth. Yep, heated seats. I enjoy the heated seats. With the wind in my face, heated seats, good combo. Yeah, we'll go up on your window just for a little bit of wind noise work. You can hear the birds chirping around. I love it here. There is something about a BMW inline six cylinder engine that just sounds right. And with this factory exhaust still on it, it's got this very deep undertone which is really nice to hear because I've driven plenty of three series and five series, both automatic and manual with this engine. It was in everything. But here it really has this sort of sporty and even almost a little bit of a grunty deep character that I really like. So just pulling out on the road, quick 4,000 RPMs there. 4,500 feels great. I mean, this car just came out of break-in period yesterday. <laughs> and it's 23 years old. It's crazy. Well, I guess 22 years old, roughly. Yep. Um, and yeah, I mean, just the seating position. I always thought like Z3s, I've driven Z3s before, I should say. Um, n nothing this night. I've, I've driven some real ratty ones. Oh, <laughs> wide open throttle in the UBS. UBS truck. shark ripping it. <laughs> that dude was sending it. Um, sounded good, too. But it's just like, um, I didn't think I would fit that well in this car, but with these sports seats, I absolutely do. So let's head on down these little tiny roads here and just get a feel for how it drives. I mean, not a squeak, not a rattle. Rolling into it a little bit. It's got so much power. The suspension's soft, so when you get on the throttle, the nose picks up here. Horn test. Good horn. And you can actually hit it pretty quick too which is nice. Yeah, that's important. That is, but you know, some cars now have like an electronic sensor in the wheel. Mm. Um, I just can't get over how nice the thin wheel is. I mean, BMW really should go and drive some of these when they're designing new cars. I agree. Because you get into a new BMW car with an M Sport wheel and it's the thickest, heaviest thing and the steering is weird. And this is just like nice. The transmission's not notchy. They never have been. It's a little bit rubbery, but it is interesting to know what it was supposed to feel like. Cause you're in, in I guess in my position when I drive older cars sometimes, whoops, bad clutch work there, sorry. <laughs> I thought we were already off and we were not. Um, in my position, sometimes we drive older cars and I'm like, you know, I don't know what it was like when it was new. And new cars today, of course, are very electronically controlled. And I think it's either gonna be like a pass fail, they'll either work or they won't. And there's really no degradation of feel over time, you know, from a drivetrain perspective, that's, that's my feeling. So going back and, and knowing that this is how this car is supposed to feel like, this, this is how Special. this generation should feel like is crazy, yeah. Really nice to be able to experience. It's soft, it's cushy, it sounds good. It's comfortable. Yeah. And speaking of sound, let's run it through the gears a little bit, shall we? Let's do it. So into first, and we'll go, I don't know, 2000 RPM wide open throttle, ready? Into the rev limiter. Fast. It is fast. It is not slow at all. And you would think that 200, what does it say the power actually is on this, Anna? 200 and something, right? Uh, 225. 225. That feels like a lot more, but it also doesn't weigh much. And it shows that back then, yeah. it just sings and it sounds great. Back sounds then, healthy, yeah. cars were lighter, so you didn't need a thousand horsepower to get it out of its own way. And here, you kind of do. Uh, you don't, I should say. In the first, let's go for it. Some dude's driving a golf cart down the road over there. Man, right up to 6,500, feels awesome. 
I mean, you just cannot get a new car that feels nearly this good. Easy to rev match on the downshifts. 4,500 RPM, you know, sitting constant. BMW inline sixes, always extremely smooth. And it's just one of those once in a lifetime experiences to be able to drive something like this. So, um, yeah, there's really not much to say. There's no corners around here. <laughs> we haven't found any at least. In front of us is a BMW i7, it appears. Let's try not to crash anyone's car. It's one of BMW's cars. I think it's like a meat marketing test drive thing. Rear steer, oh, they were just <laughs> a little bit too much steering in the i7. Oh, what an experience it is to drive this. So, can't thank you guys enough for joining. And uh, Anna, why don't you tell us some of your final thoughts on the uh, Z3 3 liter? It's just such a special experience to be able to be in this right now. I love it. Yeah. It feels good. It's comfortable. It sounds healthy. Great car. Do you think it's, uh, what is the name of the color? It was uh, steel two, green. Was, no. no, I don't know. Let's There's see. two different names. Yeah. Two different colors because the one on there says one and they call it right down here. Boston. Oh, Boston green, metallic. Right. Yes. So, hmm. I like the color a lot. Love the color. Love the Looks spec great. on this. It's truly great. And uh, we'll rip it around the uh, roundabout here, get a sense of yeah. some handling. Because the steering feels sitting on the rear axle. When you put in an input, you're just like always a little bit behind on the back. Mm. So it, you kind of really feel some of these skids happening pretty early on, which is impressive. And you get the same thing in a Z4 now, or even a Supra to that effect, which is a similar chassis to the current Z4. You sit so far back in the car and it has such a long hood that you really do feel it start to move around. And it's, uh, it's a really unique experience. So let's see if we can squeeze out here. I don't know if we're gonna be able to anytime soon. Let's try it. Here we go. So, into second gear, around the roundabout. <laughs> Traction control kicking on. By the way, this was the first year of DSC in the Z3. So oh, we just wow. tried that out. There was a little off, they call it ASC. You click it once and then you get the, the full off logo there right in the center. But that was pretty cool that uh, this was really pioneering stability control in the Z3. So glad we were able to try that out. In the second, hard throttle. And we'll leave it there. Thanks so much for watching another Kyle Connor YouTube channel video. We'll see you on another one soon. Bye. Here we are actually just parking this back in the garage. I just wanted to show you this here too. This is actually a pre refreshed version. So you can see the difference in the taillights right here. Very similar specifications for each car. Tan top on this one. You can see a lot more wood on the inside of the previous one. Uh, this one, again, nice to have both examples right next to each other. You can see, if we just take a look at the front, some of the styling improvements that happened for LCI of this generation clear turn signals as an example. And then of course, just the wider rear end with that wider track is easily noticeable on the refresh version. So cool to be able to see both of these side by side, both in the BMW collection. And again, a huge thanks to those guys for letting us take this for a drive today. What a cool experience.